All right, guys. So just going to keep this video short. Just kind of just talking about the wee uh, the horse scandal that's going on at the minute, or whatever you'd want to call it. Um, but really, you know, you'd have to wonder: is the horse meat any worse? Like I don't know the exact details now on horse meat, but is it any worse than the crap that most of us are eating at the minute anyway? That most people are eating. Um, you know, when you take in all the the kind of chemicals and e-numbers and everything that's in foods. Um, is it really any worse? You know, they do eat it. You know, just from listening to the radio and all that. They say need it in a lot of European countries, France and that, so you know, you'd wonder is it really any worse than what we're eating? And uh, yesterday uh, I had a man in for personal training and he was a manager of a Tesco shop up in uh, up in Dublin and he was seeing the huge volume of foods now that they have to throw out. And you know, you'd wonder like you know, there's people on the streets of Dublin there and you know, there's people starving, you know, all around the country and all this sort of stuff. You know, you'd wonder if that food is really that bad that you know some you know a lot of people couldn't really do with it you know um you know we always have to remember with the media like they love this sort of stuff it fills space for them they can talk crap on the radio now all day they can fill their newspapers so you know they love this stuff and they're all over um the real i suppose the only real big scandal is it's just yet another example that you've no idea really what they're eating and i suppose that's where people are kind of where the scan and kind of people jumping up and downs come from it's just you know, we've no idea what we're eating half the time or most of the time and uh, that's why you just have to be really careful and at least stay away from the real rubbish, you know, the cokes and the minerals and the crisps and at least give yourself some sort of chance. Like, all right, there will be times maybe when you have meat and maybe it's, you think it's good and it's not and different wee things like that. But you have to at least kind of make a, make a stand at, at some level and, uh, you know, if you at least stay clear of the rubbish and try and eat clean and eat your kind of your clean meats and that's why you kind of want to go organic as best you can um, you know and just kind of make sure there's no kind of chemicals or the, the animals haven't been pumped full of drugs and antibiotics and all that sort of stuff you know you want to just keep it clean living as best you can so uh, yeah just I suppose that's the kind of only match you can take from it is that the, as, the, as best as you can just try and always do uh, damage and taste just try and eat as best you can you know your meat your veg drinking water and all that sort of stuff and uh, just you know, you can imagine if that's what's in the burgers, imagine what's in all these other things that are on the shelves and the fat free and the cal low calorie food. You know, you've really got no idea what's going on. So the best way is to just keep it, the less ingredients the better and just keep it nice and simple. And if you kind of follow that kind of idea, for the most part, you should be okay. Alright, so thanks for watching, chat to you later.